How's everyone doing? I uh, wanted to do a quick video on my transducer mount on my new Minn Kota Tarova. I was having a bit of a tough time figuring out how I was going to do that versus how I had it on my Edge 45 trolley motor where you're able to, you know, run the transducer wire down the shaft of the motor and you don't have to worry about it twisting, add an extra loop in at the top for the twist of the motor. But you know with the Tarova, it can twist, twist, twist and just keep going. So I was nervous about that, about uh, obviously, you know, breaking the wire off or, you know, messing up the trolley motor. I looked at a couple of ideas on uh, YouTube, found uh, one guy that used a bike lock chain the coiled variety um, and went that route. So uh, quick video to you can see what I was doing. So basically I used a um, eye bolt here into the wood of my deck. I bought some uh, black carabiners, um, was able to hook that to the chain bike lock there to keep it uh, secure there. Uh, ran the wire from the back of my uh, Helix 7 unit Tuck the wires up under the top lip of the boat there. Ran them over here to the wire. I cabled every time, cable tied everything down to the uh, wire. Uh, and that follows the coils down and keeps them nice and tucked away and out of the way of everything else. Um, and then you can look where I followed the wire all the way up. Back here to the uh, transducer. Uh, used a stainless steel clamp there, another carabiner, and connected it all to it. Uh, looks nice and clean. Uh, stows up out of the way, no issues. Um, when I put it down, let me show you here with that. Goes right down. Kind of hangs there off to the side. Clips down on the bottom there like I showed you. Everything's nice and out of the way. Nice clean look. Obviously, I went with the black to uh, make it so it looks like it's part of the solution. Uh, when you turn on the motor, obviously, uh, you can uh, run the motor. You can twist it around. The, obviously, the coils follow the, uh, follow the twist, so you have no issues to worry about with damaging your wire for your uh, motor or damaging your wire for your uh, fish finder. Everything's up, stays out of the way, keeps propped up, keeps out of the way of the prop, and everything just goes fluid. Worked out really well. Happy with the look. Used, like I said, used black on black, so it kind of looked like it was part of the Choi motor. Uh, once you're up and stowing away again, Obviously, everything just slides right up and in. Everything slides right up and in, clicks in, nothing gets in the way of anything. Everything coils right up in the bottom there. Looks like it's part of the motor. You have any thoughts, you have any questions, give me a shout. But uh, thanks for watching.